Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi. Thank hello, you, teacher. Hello, 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 teacher. Thank you, thank you. So, how, so, are, how you? are you? Hi, thanks. Okay. okay, thank you, Sandra. Nice. Hi, thank you. Thank you thank for you. your cameras. Uh, Sarah, Lisette, Carla, Carla, Jennifer. So we have so we have so yeah. Okay, nice. So, thank you for uh, be here. So, no sé por qué se escucha doble esto. Okay, I guess it was, was in two devices. So, uh, let's start today class. So, there are nine participants. So, hopefully, se incorporen los que hacen falta. Welcome, uh, Sofia. Welcome, Wendy. Nice to have you here. So Claudia Quintanilla is connecting right now the audio. Okay, nice. So welcome, how are you today? What day is today? Let's see, Sara, what day is today? Hey, my day is, uh, I, I tired. You are so tired, why you are so tired? Because of your job, because of your work? In my work is okay. a busy, busy day. It was a really, really busy, busy day. Okay. Okay, <laughs> but thank you. Okay, thank you for being in the class, even though you are so tired today. Perfect. Okay. So what about you, Carla? How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm so tired, but today is Wednesday. Yeah, it's the middle of the week, okay? Wednesday, yes, so tomorrow teacher. is Thursday, then Friday, then we have weekend one more time, okay? So we need to be positive. We need yes. to think that, yeah, it's the middle of the week. Okay, thank you, yes. Carla. Uh, what about you, Sandra? How are you? Hi, thank you, teacher. Okay, yeah. so a busy day for you as well? Ay, a mí que me cuesta entender. <laughs> yeah, how are you? You me are puede, fine. Uh -huh. You are fine, yeah. right? So that's, uh -huh. ya me digo, uh -huh. I'm fine. Uh -huh. But when you, uh -huh. when I say, did, did you have a busy date? So un día bien ocupado, así como Sara, que dice que se ha sido un día cansado, busy day, tired. So busy what day. about you? Busy, busy day. day. Busy okay. day. Okay. It was a busy day, un día bien ocupado, okay. ¿verdad? Un día bien, bien ocupado. ajetreado, dice uno. O sea, que hoy se me ha tocado, dice usted. Un día ajetreado. Pesado. Pesado, Ajetre. heavy. Oh. Heavy, heavy, heavy day. Yes, a heavy uh, day. Heavy, heavy, so, heavy, pesado. Um, mm -hmm. We are going to start, even though there are a few participants, pero vamos a iniciar because... Um, we need to we need to finish okay uh the last uh unit that we have unit number five and um next week it will be just like a review next week so be prepared because quisiera que termináramos entre hoy y mañana lo que es la las la unit number five so next week we can do something different okay so we can do like a small recap or review something that probably uh, you would like to double check, okay? So that's what we are going to do um, next week, okay? Next week, we have um, classes. We have um, Monday and Tuesday only, okay? But probably on Tuesday, it will be just like a, I don't know, like a, an activity or something that we can do to practice, okay, that's the idea, okay? Thank you for the ones that are joining, okay? Now we are 16, we have more uh, classmates uh, in the class. 
So uh, this is class number 13, okay? And uh, we have something really quick right here. So vamos a tratar de darle fin a esta, a esta parte que tenemos acá pending for today and tomorrow. And uh, we will see later, later on. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, Sofia Avalos, can you help us with the reading, please, by the end of this class? Okay. Uh, by the end of the class, you will read and discuss an article about a special food. Developing a skill in scanning and reading for details. Okay, thank you. It says by the end of this class, you will read and develop an article, an article about special foods. Develop skills in uh, scanning and reading for details. So uh, let's see, what is article? Do you know what is an article? Article. Okay. okay. Uh, an article that would be um, un párrafo, decimos nosotros, but I voy a leer un, un párrafo. So that would be like an article, okay? So, un texto, una lectura, okay? So we will develop skills in scanning and reading for details, okay? So we are going to read right now. Let me see if I can make it bigger <laughs> para que puedan ver la letra, para que no les cueste tanto. Ojalá no me dé. Problema esto. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see who. Um, Senia Hernandez, welcome Senia. It's, this is something that we are going to read right now, okay? It says eating for uh, good luck. Eating for good luck. So, is, what is good luck? If I say good luck. Buena suerte. Buena, Buena suerte. suerte, ok. Entonces el texto, el artículo se titula Comiendo para la buena suerte. Ok. It says, on special occasions, do you ever eat any of the, of the foods in these pictures? Vea las imágenes. ¿Alguna vez ha comido eso usted? Probably yes, okay. Alguien dirá, sí, uvas, cheese, um, eh, apples. Okay, so let's see. En ocasiones especiales, dice, ¿alguna vez usted ha comido algo de la fruta que está en las imágenes? Dice, it says right there, on a New Year's Day, many people eat a special food for good luck in the new year. Ok, este son en año nuevo. Ok, más de alguno, yo sé que se ha comido las 12 uvas a la medianoche, dice, para que todo el año no, le vaya no. bien. <ríe> para los 24. 12. 24. 24, fue. Okay. 24 uvas. 24. La libra. <ríe> para que nos vaya doblemente bien. <ríe> ok, so you see. Ya ven que sí, ustedes han comido así, algo como que le dicen que es para la buena suerte. Viene uno y se lo come. Tratando de intentar ver si it works or not. Ok. <risa> so, let's see, let's see. ¿Quién me va a ayudar ahorita a leer el first one? Ok. So, Senia, please read this one, the first one. Ok. Senia, vamos a point right here, um. this one. Some Chine, Chinese Chinese people eat standard that I don't know is Tan, tangerines. Tangerines. Tangerines are around round food and uh, behind a gay light deer. Okay, perfect. It says uh, some Chinese people eat tangerines so what is tangerines so for us look Diabetes. at the picture mandarinas so, mandarinas decimos nosotras right mandarinas so uh, imagine chinese people says that they eat tangerines uh, for uh, it says tangerines are road road food ends and begin again like years okay so 
comen ellos esto, los Chinese, porque son redondas, dice, porque son redondas. Tienen un inicio, ok, y tienen como son redonditos, tienen un inicio y un final, dice, ok, like the year, ok, por eso ellos comen eso en año nuevo, para tener suerte durante todo el año, ok. Nice. Let's see, Lisette Esmeralda, the next one. Uh, this one, the Jewish. Jewish. It is a Jewish. Otra palabra, no la veo bien. Custom. Jewish. Custom. 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 What is that? No. Judíos. Judíos, ok. Es una, cos, una costumbre judía, dice uno. Es una costumbre judía. To eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Ok, la costumbre de ellos, dice, es comer eh, manzanas con miel. Ok, para un año dulce, ok, a sweet New Year, un año nuevo, dulce. Ok, that's the idea. Right, let's see the next one, Roxana. Roxana Patricia, let's see this one, please. Ok. Uh, free eat Basilo. No la veo muy bien. Basilo. Basilo pita, ok, it's like the, the bread. Okay, thank you, Roxana. Nice. It says Greeks eat uh, basilopia. Okay, ese es el nombre propio del pan. Okay, es un bread. Vean ahí, it looks like el pan con ajo, right? Que nosotros vemos así una estructura como una trencita, es esa. Okay, so which, what is Greeks? Right here, Greeks. Como una comida griega. Ah, okay. Okay, los griegos, right? So los griegos comen este pan with a coin inside. Okay, o sea que este pan tiene una moneda adentro, o sea, está como escondida una moneda, ok and it says, everyone try to find the coin for look and uh, money in the new year ok, quiere decir que ahí le meten al pan una monedita me imagino que va a ser algo comestible right, so y ahí es como la rosca de reyes, ¿saben escuchado de la rosca de reyes? que ahí viene el, el muñequito adentro, right, so viene ahí algo so el que le sale es el que va a tener buena suerte, dice. It's like a coin for good, for luck, para suerte y dinero en el nuevo año. Ok. Nice. Uh, Carla, help us with the next one, please. Uh, this one. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's. Eat one grape for good luck in each month of the New Year. Ok, perfect. Ese sí lo conocemos, right? So in Spain and some Latin American countries, so we are Lat and Latin American country, right? So we eat uh, 12 grapes at midnight, ok, on New Year's Eve, even, ok, uh, one grape for good luck in each month of the New Year, ok, ahí estamos a la medianoche comiendo a las 12 uvas, right, to have a good luck in the following year, ok. Nice. So let's see the next one. The next one will be for, uh, let's see, let's see. Sandrita, help us with this one. On New Year, New Year Day in heaven, people eat mush, mush rice, cookie for a stream in the New Year. Okay, thank you, nice. It says, uh, on New Year's Day in Japan, people eat monshi. 
mochi, ok, so it's rice mochi. cakes, ok, son pastelitos de arroz, ok, mm -hmm. for strength in the new year, what is the strength? What is this? Do you know that word strength? strength? Mm. What is that? Fuerza. Fuerza. Fuerza, ok, Strength. valentía, Fuerza. valentía, Fuerza. como tener uh, energías, right? So that's why Japan, ok, los japanese comen esos pastelitos de arroz que se llama mochi, ok, para tener un año fuerte, un año resistente, ok. Nice. Let's see. Janet Mejia, help us please with the last one, this one. Some American from Sol Solher. No, no, no le veo bien. Souther. Stay in Black. Um, and black a beer and rice with colored green. The black a beer are light coin. In the green are light dollar. Okay, thank you. Nice. It says that some Americans, okay, not todos, solo algunos Americans from southern states, okay, de los estados de la parte sur, o sea, no son todos, verdad, no son todos los Los Americans, los de las partes del sur, dice de que ellos comen black egg uh, pears and rice with uh, coir, coir's green, ok, son unas este, peras, pero son unas peras como de colores, ok, no son como las comunes, sino que son unas peras diferentes, and it says um, rice con arroz, ok, the black eye pears, okay, esas, esas peras este, como negras, are like coins, okay, para ellos representan las monedas. And the greens are like uh, dollars, okay, y lo verde, o sea, lo que le ponen ahí el rice, representa los dólares, right, that's money, okay. So ellos comen eso para tener un... Un año, ¿verdad? Abundante ahí de dinero, right? So, nice. So, this is something that we have for the um, eating for good luck, okay? Have you ever eat something different? Have you ever tried something just for uh, good luck? ¿Conocen alguna comida ustedes o algo que hayan comido? Have you ever eat something for good luck? Han comido algo y usted dice, ay, esto para, voy a comer para que me dé suerte. No, nada. No. Dicho, sí, eh, existen también unas galletas que dentro de las galletas viene un papelito. Ah, ok. Those are like uh, Chinese, I guess. Ok, la comida china, right? So they have that, that inside of the cookie, you have something like a secret, right? So, and when you eat the cookie, so you open the cookie and you see the something there, like a surprise, right? So nice. Yeah, Wendy, that's true. That's true. There are some cookies. Okay. So this is extra info. Okay. So let's see what else we have right here. So let's see if we are able to uh, correct the sentences. Okay. It says right here, read the article. Ya leímos el artículo, ya leímos el párrafo. Then correct the sentences, okay? Correct these sentences, okay? Let's see, number one. Number one is the example. Uh, let's see, Wendy Beatriz, help us with the reading. Read number okay. one, please. Okay, some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are wrong like year. Thank you. Okay. So this is the correct one, right? They are round, round like years. Okay. No decía sweet, right? It's round. Okay. So let's see the next one, number two, and let's try to, we need to identify which is the error. Okay. Hay un error ahí. Okay. So that's what we need to identify. Okay. Let's see Sonia, Sonia Areli. 
Read number two, please. This one. Song Jewish. Jewish. People eat apples, white cans for a teenager. Okay, it says some Jewish people eat apples with candy for a sweet new year. What is the error? Candy. Candy. Candy, okay. What is the correct word instead of candy? Honey, okay. Meal, right? Honey. Okay, Ellos, uh, they eat apple with honey, okay, for a sweet year. So honey instead of candy. Nice. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, number three. Number three will be for uh, Remberto. Remberto Alejandro, please help us. Number three, read it. Greek, Greek A. Basilopira. No era, si era. Vale, yeah, go ahead. Basilopira. Basilopira, great. Why? Beans inside. Mm -hmm. With beans inside. Uh, which is the error? Which is the error? Beans. Beans. Okay. Beans. What is the correct beans. word? What is the correct word instead of Coin. beans? Coin? Coins. Coins. Okay. Coins. No, lleva frijoles. <laughs> lleva una moneda ahí, ¿verdad? Y ahí la suerte, quien salga la monedita. Nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, let's see the next one. That would be for, let's see. Pongan ahí la cámara para verlo. Samuel, Samuel Davy, please, number four. Uh, in Europa, people eat 12, 12 grab for good look in the, in the new year. Okay, it says in Europe, Europe, Okay, in Europe, in Europe, people eat 12 grades for good luck in the new year. So which is the error? Europe. 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 Okay, it's not Europe. Where is the correct uh, place? Where is it? Latin America. Spain. Latin America. Okay, Spain oh. and Latin America. Okay, Spain, Spain and Latin America. Okay, thank you. Nice. Uh, Sara Guzman, please, number five. Okay. Uh, the Japanese eat chocolate cake for street in the New York. Okay, the Japanese New Year. New okay, year. New Year. The Japanese the Japanese eat chocolate cake for a strength in the new year, which is the error. Cho chocolate. chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. They don't they don't eat chocolate cake. What is the correct work? Rice cake. Rice cake. Rice cake. Rice cake. That's good. Um, um, this one's in Japanese. Mochi. Ah, mochi. 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 Rice, mochi rice, cake. rice cake. Instead of chocolate, that will be rice, rice cake, mm -hmm. right? For strength in the new year. And the last one, the last one will be for, uh, let's see, Seneda. Welcome, Seneda. Number six. Just read the sentence, please. American eat black A peas. Black A peas are like dollars. Ah, okay. Let's see. Some Americans eat black A peas. Black A peas are like dollars. What, what is the error right there? Which is the error? Mm hmm. Which is the error? Let's go back to the reading. Which is some the error? Some American dollar. 
Mm, nice. Dollars. Ok, which is the correct coin. word? Coin. Coins. Ok, los black apiers are the coins. Ok, simulan las coins. Ok, lo, lo otro que le ponen que es el uh, green uh, and the greens are oh, yeah. like okay. dollars. Ok, so the other one. So this one. Nice. Ok. So, let's continue, okay? Let's continue. Uh, Tatiana Lopez, help us with the reading, please. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related. No sé cómo Relate, se related, related. Related to popular sport in the US, US and Canada. Thank you. It says by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the US and Canada, which is the uh, popular sport here in El Salvador. What is a popular sport here in El Salvador? Uh, soccer. 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 Okay, that's the famous one here, but we have more. Okay, we have more, but the famous one, it's a soccer. Look, we have sports uh, vocabulary. So probably uh, you already know some of them, probably not all of them, but you already know probably a few. So it says right here, uh, sports vocabulary, okay? So we have football, okay, football. We have basketball. Este ya lo decimos en inglés nosotros, right? We say basketball. Oh, basketball, okay? So basketball. Uh, then we have right here cycling. Cycling, cycling. Uh, we have also swimming, swimming, swimming. Uh, we have tennis, tennis, uh, skiing, skiing. Este no tenemos, creo yo, por aquí, ¿verdad? No es algo que tengamos porque no tenemos la, la snow, right? Para hacer skiing. So then we have volleyball, volleyball. Este ya lo usamos en inglés, right? We say volleyball. So weightlifting, what is weightlifting? Weightlifting. Levantando pesas. Levantamiento de pesas, right? So weightlifting, weightlifting. Uh, car racing, car racing. Those son los carros modificados, right? Car racing. Climbing, climbing, what is climbing? Escalando. Escalando. Escalar, ¿verdad? O sea, subir en alguna montaña, algo ahí. Then we have diving. What is diving? Diving. Bucear. Bucear. Buceo, bucear. Ok. Golf. Ok. Golf. Golf. We do have golf quorums. Ok. Tenemos aquí unos lugares de golf. So probably we, it's not really famous, but we do have it. Uh, then we have ham gliding hand gliding what is hand gliding el parapente parapente cómo se llama parapente exactly that's the one right that's the one okay that's hand hand hand, hand gliding okay hand gliding uh, then we have karate karate uh, athletics what is athletics atletismo Atletismo, right? Atletismo. Atletismo. Uh, skateboarding. Skateboarding. Patinar. Patin, patinaje, right? Patinaje. Patinas. Solo que este es con patineta. Patinas. Con una patineta, no con patines. Okay, this one. Uh, skating. Skating, skateboarding is la patineta, con la patineta. And this one is skating, skating, I'm sorry, skating. So este va a ser patinaje, okay? So patinaje. Then we have a snowboarding. Snowboarding, what is the snowboarding? This one right here. It's in the nieve. Exacto, es como eh, la patineta, pero sobre nieve, right? Snowboarding, okay, snowboarding. Then we have surfing, okay, surfing. Uh, table tennis, okay, we have the regular tennis and we have table tennis right here. So that is something else. Then we have a uh, raw wind. What is that? Rowing. 
¿Qué será eso de rowing? Como remar. Uh -huh. Remo. 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 Uh -huh. Remo. Boxing. Ok. Boxing. King boxing. Ok. El boxeo. Right. Uh, windsurfing. What would be windsurfing? Surfir con velero. Surfir con velero. Exactly. Ok. Cuando va en un tipo barquito ahí en un velero. Right. So ese sería el surfing pero con velero. And the bodybuilding. The last one. Bodybuilding. What is that bodybuilding? Esculturismo, no. Ah, nice. Físico culturismo, decimos nosotros, right? Físico culturismo, cuando la persona hace, moldea, moldea su cuerpo, right? So that's bodybuilding, bodybuilding, okay? So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Sonia Araceli, Sonia Araceli, uh, which one or what is your favorite sport from the ones that we have here? Which one is your favorite one? Mm, I cycling. I yes, I cycling. Cycling. Sí. Yes. Okay. Okay, try to do the complete answer. If I ask you, what is your favorite sport? So what would be the complete answer, Sonia? La respuesta Hi. completa. Uh -huh. Hi. Sería... Uh -huh. My favorite sport uh -huh. is cycling. Okay, my favorite sport is a cycling. Okay, cycling. cycling. Nice, perfect. Cycling. What about you, Jennifer Lemos? What is your favorite sport? Jennifer Lemos, I don't know if you are there. Thank you. What is your favorite sport? Um, uh, no tengo ninguno, teacher. <laughs> you don't have anyone? Oh my goodness. No one? Oh, we, well, in that case, which one would you like to practice? So if you have the chance or the time, which sport would you like to, to, to practice? Tal vez el eh, swimming. Ok, I would like to practice. I would like to practice swimming. Ok, thank you. No problem, Jennifer. Nice. And what about you, Janet? What is your favorite sport or which sport would you like to practice? My favorite sport is car racing. Oh, car racing. Okay, nice. Car racing. Perfect. What about you, Carla? Which is your favorite sport or which one would you like to try? Would you like to learn? Would you like I to practice? I don't have favorite sport because I don't practice, <laughs> practice any sport. <laughs> oh my God, Carla, you don't look like you. I, I don't like. I don't like. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So what about you, Sandrita? Which is your favorite sport? My favorite uh, basketball. Ah, basketball. Mm. Uh, Sandrita, uh, basketball. Nice. What about you, Lisette? Lisette Esmeralda, mm. what, what is your favorite my, sport? My favorite sport is uh, football. Football, okay, football. Yes. And what about you, Samuel? What would be your favorite sport? My favorite sport, football. Football, okay, football, okay. Typical, right? So, okay, so, but are, can you play football? Or just watch it on TV? Le gusta play the, the sport or just watch? El TV y practicarlo. 
Okay, yeah, so watch and practice, okay? Verlo ahí en la TV and watch. also practice, okay? What about you, Rember? Remberto Alejandro, do you like any of these sports? Is the football teacher. Football, okay, nice. Okay, so what we are going to do right now, we are going to work in a small uh, groups, okay? So we are going to create uh, rooms, okay? And what we are going to do is a small conversation. Voy a tratar que queden los grupitos así como pequeñitos para que puedan hacer una small conversation based on the sports. Okay? So you can ask, usted le puede preguntar a la otra persona, what is your favorite sport? Oh, my favorite sport is skateboarding. Why? Why do you like skateboarding? Ah, because I like the uh adrenaline lights okay or i like the uh dangerous uh, sports okay so or someone can say oh my favorite sport is um table tennis and why do you like table tennis ah oh, because i like to be concentrate okay in, in a small table okay so me va a decir ahí cuál es el deporte que más le gusta y por qué Okay, y por qué? So I will give you four minutes, okay? Solo tenemos um, four minutes para hacer esta pequeña conversación, okay? Voy a tratar que queden quizás, si es posible, en parejas. Quiero ver, we are 20. So va a quedar, van a quedar todos nada más de tres. De ahí todos van a quedar in pairs. So, rapidito, le, tenemos cuatro minutos. Escriben ahí la pequeña conversación. What is your favorite sport and why? Okay. Oh, my favorite sport is this one. Why do you like present continuous, right? Why do you like tennis? Si la persona dijo que su favorite sport era tennis, right? So, why do you like tennis? Ah, because blah, 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 blah. Y si la persona dice, no, I don't have any sport. Okay, why you don't like it? Why you don't have any sport? Why you don't like any sport? So, present continuous, okay? So, puede preguntarle, eh, adverse of frequency, ¿se acuerdan de los adverbios de frecuencia, right? How often do you practice the sport? Le puede preguntar, hacer una pequeñita conversación. How often do you practice soccer? Si es que dijo que soccer era su deporte favorito. Y la otra persona va a decir, I, Lord and right, de lo que dijimos para poner un, un, un adverb, right? I always or I sometimes practice tennis in the morning or I sometimes go cycling um, to the park. Ok, so traten de usarme el sport, las WH questions, present continuous, and the adverse of frequency, okay? So you have four minutes only, okay? No tenemos mucho tiempo, solo cuatro minutitos, okay? So let's create the rooms.
Okay. Exacto, pero mire qué bonito porque con el gobierno ahí tiene buen buen trabajo. Okay, so the time the time is over. Voy a regresar a todos al al main room ahorita. Okay, thank you Jennifer. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. in progress. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. We are in the main room one more time. Uh, quiero ver. Sí, ya estamos todos. Creo que alguien se salió. Because now we are 19. Alguien me lo dejaron solito, quizá. Porque now we are 19 y habíamos 20. Alguien se me escapó. Okay, so uh, let's see. Did you create your uh, conversation? Lograron hablar ahí con alguien? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. let's yes. see. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Tatiana, who worked with you? ¿Quién estuvo con usted? Tatiana López. Mi coach, Wendy. Okay, mm -hmm. Wendy. Wendy Beatriz, okay, so let's do your conversation. Traten de hacer la conversación. Um, uh, like to... uh -huh. okay. um, vamos a teacher la pregunta que le hice a ella. Ajá, o sea, iban a hacer como una conversación, como what is your favorite sport? Y la otra contestaba, right? My favorite sport is bla, 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 bla. Why do you like it? Bla, bla, bla. So that is, so hágale la pregunta o no sé quién hizo la pregunta y quién dio la respuesta para ver ahí. Ok, Tatiana, eh, what do you favorite sport? My favorite, my favorite is for this softball. Okay. What do you like softball? Because I like to run. Okay. Something How else? Often do you mm -hmm. How often do you practice? Two. 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 <laughs> No, no me acuerdo. Two years. Twice. Twice. Ajá. Uh -huh. Twice. That's I'll what go. you mean. Twice years ago. Okay. Two years ago. Two years ago. So not recently, right? Two years ago. Okay. Thank you, Tati, and thank you, uh, Wendy. Uh, let's see. Let's oh, see. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Jasmine. Jasmine Robles. Who was your couple? Oh, uh, we are three, three people. Ah, okay, you were three, uh -huh. let's see. Partner are uh, Carla and Carla. Seneda. Ah, okay, Carla and Seneda. So go ahead, I don't know how you create the conversation between you three. Oh, Carla, what's, what is your favorite sport? I don't have any favorite sports. <laughs> Why? The, <laughs> Yeah, because why? you don't like any sport, Carla. Because for me, it's very boring. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> for oh me. my goodness. Okay. And Jasmine, what is your favorite, favorite sport? My favorite sport is baseball. And how often do you practice baseball? I, I um, sometimes practice practice uh, baseball, but I don't have any uh, much time, time, time. Okay, you don't have too much time. Mm -hmm. much, much why, time. why do you have too much time? Why you don't have too much time? You why you don't have too much time? Mm -hmm. for, for work, you know, for 
for English class. <risa> Today, sí, es la culpable. Today por mi culpa. <risa> ok, ya. Yeah. Because, remember cuando le preguntan con el why, la respuesta debe de ir because. Why you don't have too much time? Ah, because of my job and because of my English classes. Ok, nice. Ok, Seneida. Seneida. Ok, go ahead with Seneida. Huh? Vaya Yasmin. Seneida, what, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is... Uh, uh, <laughs> football. Uh, football. Okay, very good. Football, uh -huh. Why do you, uh, do you like um, play or watch foot, football? I, I watch TV. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ok, because I like to watch TV. So, a usted le gusta el fútbol, pero verlo, no jugarlo, right? Solo verlo. <laughs> ok, so because I like to watch TV. Ok, perfect. Because I like to watch TV. Nice. Ok, let's see, Sandrita. Vamos a ver, Sandra Evelyn, who was your classmate. Ok, David y Xiomara. Ok, David y Xiomara. Ok, Mara. let's see. Eh, la pregunta que... Perdón. What sport is your favorite? My favorite what sport is your football. favorite sport? Uh -huh. What is your favorite uh, sport? Favorite sport. Mm -hmm. My favorite sport is football. My favorite, My favorite sport, sport is... Football. Don't forget the bird to be. My favorite sport is... Football, nice. Football. How often do you practice it? Mm -hmm. I usually practice it. Okay. Why uh, do you like? Why do you like it? Uh, because it's very physical uh, fun. Okay, Physically because it's divertido. like a physical, physical and also... Um, Interesting, right? Like a divertido, interesting sport. Okay, nice. What else? Okay. Yes, Xiomara, I guess. Xiomara? Okay, so, ¿quién le va a hacer las preguntas a ella? Samuel, perdón, es Samuel David. ¿no? Ok, Samuel, go ahead. Sí, no te he activado el micrófono, perdón. Ok. What is your favorite sport? Ok, Samara, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is basketball. Ok. How often do you practice? Uh, I I rarely uh, practice in the basketball. Okay, I rarely, rarely, I rarely practice basketball. Okay. Thank you. Nice, uh, Xiomara and Samuel. Let's see the last one. Yo sé que todos quieren que les pregunte, pero the time is uh, running so fast. So let's see, uh, Senia, Senia Hernandez. You are on mute, Senia. Me tocó con Janet. Ah, okay, Senia and Janet. Janet. Okay, so go ahead. What is favorite sport, Janet? My favorite sport is running. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what else? Um, what do you like? Why do you like yeah. running? Why do running. you like running? Mm -hmm. Why do you like running? Uh, because it is quite stressful. 
Okay, it's just, it's stressful. It's it, it released the stress, right? It released the stress. Release. Release the stress. Okay. Do you have any other question, uh, Senia? How often uh, do you practice uh, running? Mm -hmm. I sometimes twice a week. I sometimes practice. Okay, remember I the subject. I sometimes practice twice a week. The bird and the complement, okay? I sometimes practice running twice a week, okay? Twice a week, okay? Perfect, nice, thank you. So uh, let's continue, okay? I'm sorry que uh, time is running so fast. So let me, we have like five more minutes, oh my goodness. So this is something that is uh, in the, in the, uh, platform, esto lo tienen ahí en la plataforma. It says, I can ice skate very well. I can't ice skate very well. So we have uh, sports seasons in the US and Canada. So eh, estos son deportes en Canadá y en Estados Unidos, pero we do have it, okay? For example, in the spring, so in the spring, en esta Season son las estaciones del año, las épocas del año, right? So in spring, people play golf and play soccer. In summer, okay, in verano, right? In summer, people play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, okay, cuando está ahí la, las hojitas cayendo de los árboles, right? In fall, People play uh, football, go bike riding, go hiking. And in the winter, okay, cuando hay la nieve, ahí el snow, right? So people play hockey, play uh, basketball, go ice skating or go uh, skiing, skating, okay? So este sería como el ice skating and skating, okay? El patinaje y el patinaje sobre nieve. Okay, so uh, we are going to continue with the next one. And this one uh, will be, there will be questions, okay? Look, we have 10 questions, okay? So those questions, please answer in, in your own time, okay? So le voy a tomar una captura, quizás se las voy a mandar al grupo para que contesten estas preguntitas porque ya el tiempo ya no nos va a dar. Y eh, mañana lo vamos a... Vamos a hacer la, la, alguien le va a hacer estas preguntas and you will answer, ok? So estas preguntas las responde de manera personal. Por ejemplo, do you practice a sport? Ahí Carla va a decir, no, I don't practice any sport, ok? So, ni modo, no, no, no practica ningún sport. Then, si usted dice, ah, ya, yeah, I I invente, cabal. Usted diga que usted hace running todos los días, va a correr cuatro horas en la mañana. <risa> ok, so, ni modo, no, no, queda, no queda tiempo, pero usted invente. Vamos a decir que somos atléticos, ok. Le va a preguntar a usted mismo, ok. How many hours do you spend every day practicing your sport? Oh, I spent two hours, ok. Un ejemplo, vamos a inventar ahí, right. I spent two hours to practice my sport. Do you think it's enough or too little? I guess it's too little, okay? ¿Cree usted que esas dos horas o lo que sea que va a poner es suficiente o es muy poco? Okay, what sports have you practiced in the past, okay? ¿Qué deportes usted ha practicado? Tal vez cuando iba a estudiar, cuando era joven y no tenía nada que hacer, right? So, ¿qué deporte <laughs> practicaba? Okay, which cuando one? Cuando era muy... Cuando éramos jóvenes y teníamos tiempo, ahora que the time, we don't have time for nothing, ok? So, and this one says, which one was your favorite? De todos los deportes que usted tal vez practicó antes, ¿cuál era su favorito? Which sport would you like to try? Ven, esta está bonita. ¿Qué deporte le gustaría probar? ¿Qué le gustaría practicar? Uh, then it says, do you prefer individual or team sports? ¿Qué le gustan más? ¿Los deportes que se juegan individualmente o en equipo? ¿Ok? ¿Which sport do you think are dangerous? ¿Ok? ¿Qué deporte cree usted que es peligroso? 
Which sports do you think are boring? ¿Qué deporte usted cree que es aburrido? Así como no le gusta. Ok, which sports are popular in your country? ¿Qué deportes son famosos aquí en El Salvador, en nuestro país? Mm. Um, do you prefer playing or watching sports? Ok, ¿qué prefiere? ¿Jugar el deporte o verlo allí en la televisión? Nada más. <ríe> And the last verlo. one says, <ríe> verlo, right? Más fácil. <ríe> the last <ríe> one says, do you do physical education in school? ¿Está recibido clase de educación física en la escuela? And what do you do during the physical education? ¿Qué hacía usted en esa hora? Típico, en la escuela lo mandaban a correr a uno en la a cancha. A correr por toda la cancha. Que se acabaran las baterías de los niños. Right? So, but that's the question, ok? So, contestamos esas preguntitas y este, el día de mañana vamos a, vamos a iniciar con... con las preguntas, ok, alguien le va a preguntar, no sé cuál de todas, contestémoslas todas porque no sé este, cuál le van a preguntar a usted, ok, so um, we are going to stop right here, and um, ahí les mandaron a decir ahora, vieron, no sé si todos ya vieron el mensaje sobre la inscripción, verdad, ahí les mandaron a decir el correo y este... La, las fechas, han dado una fecha este, de jueves 12, es decir, mañana, ¿ok? Para recibir documentos. Algunos ahí preguntaron, ¿verdad? Que mire, yo ya lo mandé. Si yo ya lo, usted ya lo mandó, hay que esperar. A veces ellos tardan en responder porque son bastantes estudiantes los que se tienen. Entonces, este... Eh, hay que tener paciencia, pero ahí les van a ir respondiendo poco a poco. Lo importante es que no se quede fuera usted, que siempre mande su documentación para que podamos continuar. Acuérdese que el requisito para que usted siga es aprobar la plataforma con un 80%. Si usted ya terminó la plataforma, usted sabe que va a continuar el siguiente módulo. Si usted no ha enviado los documentos, pero no, le, no ha terminado la plataforma, automáticamente queda fuera del programa. Ok, no sé si hay alguna pregunta o duda en cuanto a esto. No, 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 okay. no, so, no, no problem. No. Uh, we are going to stop for right now. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Mañana seguimos, todavía tenemos clase y muy probable el viernes también vamos a tener una sesión Pequeñita, yo les confirmo mañana, ok? But thank okay. you for joining and I hope to see you tomorrow, ok? Don't forget to answer the questions, ok? Con esas preguntas okay. vamos a iniciar mañana, ok? Tenga las respuestas okay. ahí en la mano. Ok, okay. okay. thank okay. you. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye.